This is a childish budget. It is the real Balak Buddhi budget. When there was a special package announced to Bihar. Do Rajya Bharat mein nahi hai kya? Ha hai. No, no, unko, unko, unko remind kar raha hon. Yeh pehle baar bhi ho chuka hai. Nobody knows what happened to this 1.25 lakh crore package which was given in 2015. A budget that seems more like a Bollywood blockbuster trailer. Big on hype. But when you look closer, it's all special effects with no real story. Honorable Speaker, sir, <clears throat> I stand before today, you today to discuss a budget that is less a financial document and more a desperate attempt by the BJP to hold on to power. A budget that prioritizes pandering so over policy, coalition politics over the common good, and optics over outcome. A budget that reads like a gratitude letter, a love letter to only two states, while the rest of India is left feeling like a neglected stepchild. By the way, I want to remind the states that it is not real love. The same promise was given to them in 2015 when there was a special package announced to Bihar. I'm just reminding them. It was earlier announced. 1.25 lakh crore was announced in 2025. 1 lakh. No, no, they remind us. This is the first time. But it's not Nobody knows what happened to this 1.25 lakh crore package which was given in 2015. A budget that seems more like a Bollywood blockbuster trailer. Big on hype. But when you look closer, it's all special effects with no real story. Speaker, sir, what is required in this budget? You know, the last, the large portion of the Indian economy is about consumption. 57.2% is consumption. How are we going to increase the demand? That's the primary question. In 2014, in UPA government, 66.6% .6 of the direct tax came from corporates. Today, it is 47. And 53% of the tax is now paid by individuals. If we don't put money into people's hands, how is the demand going to raise? How is it going to improve the economy? That is the primary mood question that has to be discussed. It is a classic case of Kahani Me Abhi Twist. I was been waiting, reading the project document. What is there? Without any substance, filled with only buzzwords and sound like they were picked straight from a corporate jargon dictionary. In fact, this time I should be thankful they have not gone for this stand up India, sit up India, sleep India, walk India. Thanks to the finance minister for sparing us from that. The BJP is, as usual, more focused on staging a show than addressing the pressing needs of a nation. I'm only going to outline a few jumlas for the sake of time. Let's talk about agriculture, where the budget promises new high-yielding climate-resilient crop varieties. It is almost as if the government thinks the farmers only need a new super crop, superhero crop to save the day. The push for natural farming sounds like an attempt to make organic farming the new masala mix that will fix everything. But in reality, farmers are dealing with high input costs, low MSPs, which is not legally guaranteed, and poor procurement systems. In fact, in the current estimate, the fertilizer, fertilizer subsidy has been reduced by 13% than the RE2324. Issues that no amount of organic mix can fix. Speaker, sir, with great uh, sadness, I'm saying this NCRB data that one farmer and one agricultural laborer every hour is committing suicide in this country. And that's where, and then there is this announcement of this digital public infrastructure. Sir, please, sir, this is my maiden speech, sir. Agriculture initiative. It sounds as if the government believes all farmers are in need of a strong internet connection, and that's it. Now, coming to employment, the employment links incentive scheme offering 15,000 for new employees is touted as a game changer. But it is like giving a single samosa in a wedding feast, sir. Woefully inadequate. The budget's focus on the formal sector while ignoring the vast informal sector is like showing off a picture of a five-star hotel room in an ad for budget accommodation. Mudra loans are not the miracle cure they are made out to be. Speaker, sir, it's all as if the government believes that throwing a few freebies will solve all the problems. Sir, from 2014 to 2022, 22.05 crore people have applied for job. And how many of them have got it? 0.33%, 7.22 lakhs. What are you going to do about this? You have destroyed the bright MSME sector we had, which provided 12 crore, 12 crore jobs. And then there's no jobs now. Infrastructure is another comedy. 
where around 11.11 .11 lakh crore for capital expenditure is declared. It's presented with much fanfare. But then, I'm giving you a data. And this is the one from the, from the Ministry of Statistics. Around 1,843 infrastructure projects, 779 are having cost overruns, and 449 are without, uh, are experiencing delays. So Bihar and uh, Bihar and Andhra Pradesh, when the infrastructure projects are declared, they should be very clear that this is what is going to happen with them. Sir, coming to Malesh welfare, Babu. sir, welfare is, the, the government talks about targeted and efficient spending, which is in plain English means cutting budgets for Narega, NSAP and stuff like that. Even in this budget, Narega's budget has been cut down, Samagra Siksha has been cut down, portion has been cut down, old age pension has been cut down, everything. Finally, I'll conclude by saying Honourable this, sir. Speaker, I want to thank my Janta Dal Secular. Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu has been completely ignored by this government. They have not given us anything. They have stopped us, stopped our relief fund. They have stopped us GST. They have even stopped us school education. Sir, we have been fighting this ideological battle for a long time. Tamil Nadu will fight fascism. We will fight with our language. We will fight with our wisdom. We will fight with our unity. We will fight with our poetry. We will fight with our music. We will fight and challenge you with joy and celebrations. Finally, I would say, sir, this is a childish budget. It is the real Balak Buddhi budget. Thank you.